G'day. In today's video, I've got a Delta 15 A5 EFK. And what I'm wanting to do here is get into the BIOS, but I do also want to see if I can do a BIOS update. I'm not sure if this one's up to date. So let's go through the steps on what needs to be done. To begin with, I've made up a USB stick over here with the BIOS available on the MSI website. From here, I want to load up the BIOS. So I'm going to click on the Start button, hold Shift, click on Power, and click Restart. From here, this should get me into the recovery options I need. And from there, I should be able to tell it to load up to the BIOS or the UEFI. So now the computer should be restarting. and Hopefully it's accepted my button combination. That is promising. Let's zoom you guys in. So from here, what I want to go to is Troubleshoot, Advanced, and Firmware Settings. So I've just used the arrow keys and the Enter button to get me into here. And hopefully from here, we should see what version that I'm on. Uh, system Information will tell me that. Version 1.05. So I've got a newer version than that. So I should be able to go to here select this one and I'm not too sure which one the USB is let's go to the top one that actually says USB enter now where did I put it E15 CCAMS 107 and this file here I'm just using the arrow keys and enter do I want to update yes And now I play the waiting game. Now the reason why I've done the BIOS update is sometimes they do put in proceed with flash. Yes. Sometimes there is vBIOS updates which do increase the graphical performance of your laptop. That's extremely rare, but being that this is such a unique combination of hardware, I thought it might be worthwhile doing that, or at least trying that. Sometimes you get system fixes. Usually if you're not having issues, it's not recommended to do the BIOS update. But if you like it to be on the bleeding edge, typically you go ahead and do it, just like what I'm doing here. Hoping I might be able to get a little bit of extra performance out of it. May, not, may or may not happen. But it's something that the developer or MSI has released, so I feel warranted in updating it so it is the latest. Yeah trackpad is going very laggy fair enough it's heavily focused on updating that BIOS and let's let it go While it is doing the update, pretty much your system fans will begin to go berserk as it's trying to minimize any pot potential risk of failure, especially if it may be due to heat. It does also tell you to plug in your charging cable, which is what I've done myself. This bit here, currently I'm getting no image, but I can tell it's on as the laptop keys are lighting up. There we go. So judging by that, I'd say the BIOS update or UFEI update looks to be successful. From here, I'll wait till it starts up and then I'll remove my USB stick from here. There we go, so right now we're starting Windows back up once more. So from here, we've successfully updated the UFI slash BIOS and also that's how to simply get into the BIOS. Hope this helps and I'll catch you guys later. Bye.